Hey guys, it's Matt and Grace here from Jamie.Musical, the Instagram fan page for Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Today we're joined by Luke Latchman. Thank you for having us, Luke. Thanks for being here. <laughs> so, uh, Luke has been in Jamie since the end of January, uh, playing Saeed and first cover Jamie New. So we're going to ask him a few questions about his experience in the show. Right, can we start with uh, just a bit about your career and your training and what's led you to where you are now? I probably did the most standard route into theatre. I went to drama school. Um, I had a passion in it from a young age, like seven, did like stagecoach performing arts, which I'm sure a lot of people are probably familiar with. Um, uh, stagecoach as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I, I loved stagecoach. It was fabulous. Like, that, was, that was kind of my introduction to theatre and, I, and I, I went, so I tried all sorts of other clubs and went, well, this is the one that I really like, so let me do more of this. And I ended up at like another kind of dance school. Uh, through Stagecoach, Bedo Academy, uh, from Claire Bedo, I love those pieces, miss her greatly because I don't see her all the time now. Um, and uh, then went to Arts Ed, was very lucky, I got, actually got on the full-time foundation course, uh, thought there's no way I can afford this, and then my mum, absolutely the reason I'm here, hands down, uh, she went, well, you need this, and I don't know how, but we'll get you through it. So I did that full-time foundation course and then was very, very lucky, and I mean that, to get on the full-time, the three-year BA course. Uh, there was like 22 of us in, in the foundation course and six of us got onto the BA and I was just lucky to be one of them. Um, did that for three years and then actually here in this show now, uh, the casting director who, um, who's in charge of getting all the people into the, uh, into the auditions, uh, I've done two jobs for him now. Uh, this is actually my third job with him. Uh, I did my first job at a drama school, working the musical, was with Will Burton, and then the second one I did was uh, a panto actually, I played Dick Whittington at the Lyric Hammersmith, and then got this straight off the back of the Lyric Hammersmith uh, to, to get into here. And I feel so lucky to be here, <laughs> every day, every day I come in and I'm like, oh my god, I'm just walking into the backstage of a West End theatre, of course you are, well done! <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, that you've well got to experience that, yeah. Yeah, amazing. So, um, can you describe the experience of your first time on this journey? Um, I'm not gonna lie, kind of hideous. <laughs> not not for any other reason than I just get ridiculously nervous, like, and I just find it so daunting. They prepared me as much as they possibly could. Like I was, um, I did so many extra rehearsals, like during the day and during the afternoon, and they even let me do. I say let me. They they arranged it so that the whole cast came in just for me to play Jamie through a run of the show to, to, to no audience just so that I was really ready for it but nothing can prepare you for stepping out in front of 600 plus people and suddenly playing a lead in the West End it was the most daunting experience and um, I got through it absolutely <laughs> fine very shakily and I was a bit disappointed that the vocals were recorded because now I listen back and go Oh yeah, come and record it now, you know, come, come and do it now that I've settled in, don't do it to me when I'm shaking in the wings and shaking on stage. Um, but you don't notice that in the audience though. I, I know, I know, but because it's my job not to show it, yeah. so, but then I, I came off stage and I was like still kind of shaky and like handed champagne and drunk it and then was all the way home just like, I don't feel too good, I don't feel too good and I say this with love, that it's been years since I vomited and I got home and I was just... I was actually sick just from the pure adrenaline and fear of it and then it got easier, you know, the second show was easier and then I wasn't sick and then the third show was easier and it just kind of, and now it's really settled in, like I'm really calm with it, but my god, that first time, yeah. that was a whirlwind, <laughs> that was terrifying. Was it a scheduled show? Or? It, it was, yeah, so I, I, um, yeah, I've never, I've never actually been on yet for anything other than a scheduled right, yeah. holiday show or because Layton's busy, it's always been... It's always been planned, I've always known weeks yeah. in advance. Which should make it easier, but let me tell you now, it doesn't. <laughs> you just spend the week before it going, oh my god. Even those 12 shows that I just did, I spent the week before it just stressing the hell out. And my partner was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I'm just really nervous. Like, it's, it's, it seems so small, but yeah, it just feels huge. And the first time I saw you as Jamie, and I think it surprised me quite a lot of people, I think we were all just surprised at how different you are to every other portrayal we've seen so far. As a cover, how did you, did you get any leeway in the rehearsal process to make it your own? Jonathan Butterall is so, so open to interpretation, and he's so, so, he separates everything into um, what's and how's, and he says like all the how is the way you need to be, where you need to stand, where you need to go from and to, but then the what is, is all the you, and that's all the what you bring as a character and how you feel through that and how you explore the story. 
um, and he's really open to that. So actually, it felt like I was originating the role rather than mimicking something that's already happened before. So lots of leeway, I suppose, is the answer. Yeah. Do you think that's something that's special to this show? It's, it's something that I'm so so glad I had the opportunity to be a part of because I've heard lots of stories of friends going into other shows yeah. and being very rigidly told at this point you move from here to here, at this point you feel like this, at this point and uh, I'm just glad that I didn't have to experience that. I got to feel like I was creating a show from scratch rather than robotically mimicking something that's come before which was really really nice, it felt like an organic experience, loads of keyway in, in yeah. what the character is. Don't, don't get me wrong, there is, I, I still do get told Oh, but at this point you do need to feel like this and at this point you do need to do this to that character um, because sometimes I like to just explore it however it comes to me at the moment and that's not my job. My job is to do as I'm told and to fulfil the director's wish which is to follow his journey. Yeah. Um, but both are fabulous at giving me free run of it if you will and then steering me in the direction that they want. And the results obviously have been great for the audience because it means that they can fall in love with your Jamie and what makes that different to all the others. As yeah, well, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because for me, character is, is just uh, an extension of yourself. Yeah. Like, um, I can't be something that I'm not. I can only be myself within a different set of circumstances. So I am myself, but I am 16 again. I am myself but I want to go to prominent dress, but I want to be a drag queen, but, and just kind of layer it on like that and figure out who that then makes you via, the, via that, rather than putting a coat on and going, this is my character, ha 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 ha, because yes. people see right through it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the amazing thing about Jamie Yu is that he is a teenager, he is only young, so you need that energy, you need that leeway to be free with the character to make it authentic. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And I just, I keep reminding myself, he is 16, he is 16, especially with things like Wall in My Head, which for me personally now at 24, I can kind of go, um, I, I don't know if I'd have that much difficulty overcoming something, I just kind of go, right, this is how it is, I feel really awful about it, let me think about something else. Whereas when you're 16, you kind of do dwell on it more and you kind of think about it until it hurts and you think about it until someone else snaps you out of it. And I, that does still happen to me as a 24 year old, but I think, you're more prone to it when you're a bit younger, so it's just things like that that I like to mm. remember because I find it useful. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, um, how have Jamie and Saeed helped you to diversify you as a performer over the past seven months? Uh, so have they taught you anything that uh, you've never had before and nothing you've experienced? I mean, everything everything is new, and everything I get I get to experience something new every time of every show, of every character. Um, I think, especially Jamie for me, when I when I did the lead in the panto before this, that for me was a moment of, oh maybe, maybe you actually could play a lead, maybe you don't have to think, because before that, I, when I was at drama school I was just thinking, you know what, you do you go and be two, ten, 10 years in the ensemble and be a fantastic ensemble member and you're going to love it and if you get that, you'll be so lucky and then suddenly I'm playing a lead in the panto and I'm thinking, oh I could actually play parts, I can I can play leads, and there was this lovely person who I worked with in Chichester on this gorgeous piece called Flats for Mrs. Harris called um, Rona McGregor. And um, she she once, I remember speaking to her once before about, um, she was talking to, I was in the ensemble for that show, and she was speaking to me before about, but oh, what's the difference between them and you? Uh, there isn't one. Like, they're just speaking more and they're just singing more, but actually you're just as capable as them. And for me, Jamie has really made me feel that. It's really made me go, Oh, we can all play leads. It's not. There's not a big divide. It's not like you can only do ensemble. Like anyone could do it, as long as the the character's right for you, and as long as the time is right for you. And you know, it's it's totally possible. So it's opened up a world of possibilities to me. It's made me feel more capable, I suppose, which has been an incredible experience. Just to you know, because we all get knocked down, and we all we all tell ourselves that we're not capable of things, and so it's nice to suddenly feel. Empowered. Yeah, absolutely. That's really lovely. Right. I know uh, a lot of our followers are aspiring performers and fans of the show as well. <laughs> um, how would you uh, suggest they cope with nerves? Because that's quite a big thing. Yeah, I think the biggest the biggest thing to realise for me personally is that you're going to get nervous, yeah. and that's okay. And you need to accept it and just kind of kind of mentally stroke yourself in a in a sense of 
Like, I know you're nervous, that's all right, we're dealing with that. Let's concentrate on what we need to do, which is to do the performance or to get through it or to sing the song, whatever. It's okay to, to feel those that way yeah. and you will deal with it, but you just need to get through that thing that you're, that, that wall, if you will, yeah. before you can then, before you'll be able to breathe, uh, before you'll be able to relax about it. But um, I think accepting that you will get nervous and you can't just switch it off is really important because it just shows you care. Like nerves are just a way of your body saying, this is a big deal to me and why would that be a bad thing? You know, it's good to know, it's good to know that you're, you're looking out for yourself. You're going, I'm nervous. Let's deal with it together. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you can get so caught up on on that feeling of being nervous that everything else just goes out the window. Yeah, yeah. You've been practicing. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and again, that's okay. That will happen, and you need to accept it. Stroke yourself and go. It's okay. We we can get through this. You know, we just keep going. Because that's how I was on my first show. You know, <laughs> coming on stage, like, oh God, it's okay. <laughs> we can get through this. And. Lo and behold, I got through and it. You did so, it so. amazingly as well. <laughs> Thank so. you. <laughs> um, so obviously, Jamie is a high intensity show. It's mad. You've got constant dancing, singing, acting. Mm. Uh, so how do you manage to keep up the energy in every performance, whether that's Jamie or Saeed? Um, with difficulty, mm. just just in terms of, I am human, and some days I wake up and go, I really don't want to do today, and some days I wake up and go. I am ready, like, throw this day at me, I'm in such a good mood, but just as likely that the next day I'll wake up and go, oh my god, my god. <laughs> um, and that's okay, but that's human, that's part of dealing with it. So just coming in, doing the same thing that I always do, which is do the warm up as a group, do any extra warming up that I need to do, um, settling myself in, being calm, and I, I don't know, it's kind, it's kind, it kind of builds into you, you kind of learn that that's what you need to do. You, you, as soon as you step out on that stage, you kind of go, you kind of sort of forget how you're feeling because your focus is somewhere else, you're thinking about whatever your character's thinking about in that, in that moment, which is really handy because it gives you something to focus on. Um, and then when you go off stage, you can collapse again, you can go, oh, I'm so tired, or you can sit down and sulk, but then as soon as you go out there, you're like, yeah, I'm fine, but... You know, we do get those shows and we do get those days where you're a little bit phased and you're a little bit, or you're doing the show and you're like, oh my god, I really, <laughs> really feel awful or I'm really tired, I just want to go to bed and, and, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay yeah. to feel it's like that. Being it's part yeah. of being a performer, it's part of being a human, you know. It's Eight just, times a week is a, it's a lot to do the same show. I used show. to think it was so, when I heard it, I was like, eight times a week, yeah, I could do that, I'm <laughs> waiting for that. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, <gasps> Oh my god, eight times a week, it's exhausting. <laughs> Seven months in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. Mm. I really would. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. I mean, okay, you must know you're incredibly popular with the fans, everyone. Everyone loves everyone's you. Everyone's so and... lovely. Oh my god, everyone's so lovely. So yeah, what's your, what's your perspective of the fan base and do you enjoy Stage Door and everything? I, I think it's great that they found something to rally around. Great that they found something that makes them feel a certain way. And um, and I, I think that's a lovely thing. And I see that they're, they're, they tend to be quite a young fan base because obviously it's quite a young show We're dealing with 16 year olds. It's nice that we've got some people that will always be there and and I love meeting them every time. Well, we, we all love meeting you and yeah. we're grateful for everything you do. For the yeah, fans. absolutely. And it goes for the whole cast as well. Like Stage Door is such an amazing experience for everyone to just say thank you to yourself or to the other cast members when they come out to be like, that was really good, I really enjoyed it. Like, yeah, it's always yeah. Really so Stage Door for me, especially what I've been on for Jamie, is just a way of meeting people who tend to be quite affected by the story because like everyone has a story and I tend to go out and there's always someone there that wants to go, thank you, like the way that this worked for me, I totally relate and feel that and so yeah, no, it's great, I love it. And that's why it's such a good role to play because you, you're you able to affect people so positively through your... I mean it's wonderful that I affect, that it's, it's, it's a positive effect on people and I think that's a, a wonderful thing. Um, so, finally, do you have anything you want to say to the fans who've been supporting the show? I mean, the show's been running for nearly two years in the West End now. Is there anything yeah, it's crazy, you want to say to them? Well, I mean, all, all I can say is thank you. Like, thank you for, for, for being, for keeping coming and, like I said, keeping the show alive and keeping it going. Because, like I said, without them, there would, would there still be a show? Because, <laughs> you know, it, it's expensive to run a show. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've loved meeting every one of them and thanks, thank you to all of them for coming.
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks very much. <laughs>